Hello. In this video, I'm going to talk about the reactions of esters. Like all of the carboxylic acid derivatives, esters undergo hydrolysis to carboxylic acids. Uh, but as the esters are now things that are generally on par with the reactivity of carboxylic acids, or perhaps a little bit less reactive, um, then these reactions can't just happen with water. Um, so let's let's pick an ester. Uh, I, I think I'm going to use ethyl acetate as my example. That if you just mix ethyl acetate with water, uh, you end up getting no reaction. Uh, now the the ester is not reactive enough to undergo nucleophilic substitution with just water. But if you were to add an acid the reaction, you would get nucleophilic substitution, uh, nucleophilic acid substitution by the acidic mechanism. And this, of course, refers back to my video on the mechanisms of these reactions. And you would get carboxylic acid out of this mechanism, and you would get the, the alcohol. Alternatively, You could add, if you do this reaction using uh, base, and in base you get, uh, you, you can have the different mechanism, uh, and this mechanism then would follow the basic mechanism, and you'd have to add acid here to, uh, at the end, to protonate the carboxylate anion. This uh, second version is sometimes called saponification. Uh, especially when you're talking about the hydrolysis of, you know, especially if you're talking about the hydrolysis of um, fatty acid esters, um, because now we're talking about the reaction that used to make soap. So, so saponic, saponification equals soap making. Fatty acid esters uh, are hydro, hydrolyzed to make things that turn out to be reasonable surfactants. And so the original soaps were made by this reaction right here, but, but perhaps without the, the neutralization. Esters can react with alcohols. Uh, and, transistor. and this reaction is called transesterification. And the reason it's called transesterification is because we are converting uh, one ester into another. Generally, this is a reaction that happens under acid catalysis. Uh, and so we have, instead of water as the, the nucleophile slash solvent, we have uh, another alcohol. You generate, uh, well, in this case, you generate ethanol. Actually, let's just copy the ethanol molecule from up here. You generate ethanol as the, the other product. And so here's the acidic version. I'll talk about the basic version here in a moment, but uh, this reaction is difficult to control. Both of these reactions actually are difficult to control. I'm going to have to add it just to here. Because... Uh, hmm. Under the same conditions, ethanol is just as nucleophilic as whatever this alcohol was, and can you can get a lot of scrambling unless you have a huge excess of your intended nucleophile. But it is also just as you know just as easy to do this reaction using base, and so instead of having H plus, you'd have you know the alkoxide anion, and instead of generating uh, ethanol, you would generate sodium methoxide, which is again a, a nucleophile that can create trouble because it, it can, you know, run in reverse. Right. But this is actually a thing that esters can do. Uh, it's, and it's worth mentioning here because it, it's a complicating factor in some other ester related reactions down the line. Uh, and then finally, aminolysis. And if you've been following along in this video series, since the 
acid halides, you'll realize that I am getting fewer and fewer uh, reactions because I'm moving into the less reactive territory. So esters, though, are more more reactive than amides, and so we can just like we've like I've done for other functional groups, react esters with amines and ammonia, and it requires two uh, equivalents. Actually, no, this one only require one equivalent because the leafing group is basic. Um, but we have a neutral nucleophile, so this mechanism is the new, this reaction follows the neutral mechanism. And like acid chlorides and, and acid anhydrides, this reaction works just as well for secondary or primary and secondary means and tends not to work very well for uh, tertiary means. This concludes my video on the, the reactions of esters. Uh, coming up is a video on the synthesis of amides. Thank you for watching.